guys, Joy here, and today I'm doing my May TBR. I normally don't do TBRs, but since April was such a great reading month and I read most of the books I planned to for April, I decided I might as well give it a chance for May as well. Just know that my May TBR videos are subject to change, so here are the books I want to read in May. So the first book I have here is more like finish it off in May because I started it mid-April and I just haven't finished it, and that is A Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Moss. I'm currently rereading the books for the Throne of Glass read-along. Right now I think we're mostly behind on it, like we should be on Era of Fire now, but I think most of us are just trying to finish it off because April was a very hectic reading month for a lot of us. Crown of Midnight is the second book in the Throne of Glass series. Throne of Glass is about a character named Selena Sardothian. She's an assassin that was caught years before and when the Prince of Ardlin comes in and sweeps her away to fight for her freedom. That's probably not how it's supposed to go, but I never know how to say a synopsis. But either way, it's a great story. I love Sarah J Moss's book. Following the Throne of Glass read along, the next book I have here is Air of Fire by Sarah J Moss. I won't say much about it because it is the third book and it would just require a lot of spoilers. I absolutely adore this cover. I love the color. I can't wait to continue on with Selena's story. Story. The next book I have here is once again a book that's been hyped up by Rebecca. Not only Rebecca but also Leah from Leah and 26 Letters. And the book I'm talking about is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Lainey Taylor is the author of Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. Rebecca and Leah have been raving about it so I'm going to read it this month. I'm like 30 pages in. I'm taking it really slow. April was kind of like a meh reading month. This this book follows Laszlo Strange, a war orphan. I don't want to say much about it because I've heard that it's best to go in it without knowing much. Just know that it's about a character named Laszlo Strange. So Strange the Dreamer, you can figure out what that is then. I am enjoying the writing so much, but other than that, I don't have many thoughts on it. This next book is a book that I've been wanting to read for a very long time. I've heard nothing but great things about it, and that is Poison Study by Mariah V. Snyder. I don't know much about this. What I gathered, I mean, I don't want to say much because I feel like it already revealed something about the plot and I don't want to spoil you guys on it. What this book is about is the main character becomes a food taster for one of the royals in the novel and maybe romance ensues. But other than that, that's all I know about this book and I'm really excited to read it. And the next book I have here is a book that sounded really interesting while I was shopping in my library. I didn't really buy it from my library, but I wanted books to get from my library. And that is the Hundredth Queen by Emily R. King and this book is about a character who has always been sick her entire life but then the tyrant named Raja comes in and takes the main character Kalinda as his hundredth wife. It sounds like a really interesting read. It's really short. I believe it's less than 300 pages so I'm really excited to read it. And the last book I have here for the month of May is A Girl Made of Snow and Glass by Melissa Bechardos. I probably said that wrong, my bad. What I read from the synopsis is that we followed two characters. Mina is the girl with the glass heart and she's always been wanting to feel something. And now 15 year old Lynette is the king's daughter and she is made of snow and the exact replica of her mom. It sounded like an interesting read and I'm really excited to read it. That is all I have for you guys today. Let me know down in the comments below which book you're most excited to read for the month of May. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more of my face and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!